It's past the vazool, baby. Come on in. Hello, Screamers! Welcome to the Scream Until You Like It podcast. Um, I am Clint Ricketts, which is a, a reference to a movie that I think we'll be talking about a little bit later uh, today. With me, as always, is Evil Mike, uh, although tonight he is Umbop Mikey. And I guess there, well, there's a story behind that. Maybe we'll bring it up again. Uh, <laughs> and um, uh, we are joined here uh, with two very special guests. Uh, we have one, Shannon Atkins, and we have one, Bone Johnson. Uh, Yay, which, hi. Uh, Hello, everybody. Sounds like a uh, sounds like a made up name, if I'm being honest. Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah. completely made up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. This is unexpected. What is happening? Hey guys. Matt. Whoa! <laughs> made it. <laughs> What is going on? Not much. I'm at work. It's really slow. So I figured I'd pop on at least say hey for a second. Yeah. Get... No, that that's... is awesome. That is great. Yeah. Great. I was yes. I was just getting ready to talk about you. We literally just started... oh yeah. I, I see. Okay, so now you gotta now you gotta change the subject, don't you? Yeah, now you're really about that. Yeah, all right. Like, well, no. I see how it is. So I, I popped on just in the nick of time. I say, all right. That, that, that's right. That's right. Yep. Yep. There. The we'll just uh, we'll just have to say it to your face now. I guess. I yeah. <laughs> what a concept. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, since we have you here, uh, Matt. Um, there you go. I get the impression there. that you're you're kind of a, a go-to guy. Um, like uh, people are like, hey, that you know, I need a house. You know real cheap that we can go do something in or i need a car that like we can like buy for nothing and wreck and take to the scrap yard and you're like hold on i might know a guy and you kind of <laughs> just go out there and, and try to find it is that is that kind of accurate yeah i mean to it to a degree <laughs> to, to a degree i mean i just yeah it's, it's it's nice having it's nice having friends that have this kind of stuff <laughs> yeah that's pretty cool because uh, it, it, it seems like you've been doing this for you know a while now, you know, and you've built up kind of a network like uh, like that. That seems to be the thing that you're uh, really really good at is like uh, making connections with people and and bringing together <clears throat> the stuff you need uh, in order to help folks with projects. I mean, I mean, it's uh, yeah. I mean, it's it, I mean, the more stuff you get out, the more it'll the more it'll help everybody. I think so. I mean, I think I think it'll just you know, it's really. Things have really been going well the last few years here, and it seems like it's only getting better. So that's that that's 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 awesome. Yeah, yeah, and it's nice to to actually see you know some of your projects get done and actually see them put out there and uh, to where people can see them and stuff like that. Um, Not all of them, but some of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, well, I know we're probably waiting on some, but um, well, yeah. I mean, it's just it's just that some sometimes you just you can't help that you can't help things that happen on some of them, but. But yeah, things are things are going really well on most of them so that, so far. So yeah, that's good. Well, I may as well plug you for a little bit while you're here. Um, <clears throat> like um, I know that you can see uh, Brazen Impact on Plex, yeah, which is uh, a thing that you did with Mark Byrne and Absurd uh, Production Pictures. Production, yeah, yeah. Uh, Bigfoot is on uh, Kings of Horror. Yeah, Kings of Horror. Yeah, the, the My YouTube son's favorite movie. Like Sorry. literally his favorite movie. <laughs> that is too funny. That's not that is that is anyone's favorite movie. Well, like I mean, well, like look at Zero. I mean, what what does that have? Like one hundred twenty five thousand views right now on Tinder. I don't understand. Yeah. Yeah. Wesley and I are quite baffled by that one. <laughs> <laughs> It's such a cool idea. I mean, if I'm being honest with you, I mean, now um, I went to the premiere uh, when that when that was happened. last year. That was today, yeah, last year. I want to say it was, oh, yeah, I was, it was. the yeah, I was thinking the, the posts for it. 
Yeah, I went back and watched it uh, again because I thought, you know, maybe I was in the moment, you know, and and while I was watching, I was just having a really good time and the whole theater experience. But I went back and watched it again because I was trying to spot Shannon in there. And um, um, did you find her? I found her in an alley <laughs> trying to kill somebody. It was, uh, <laughs> you know, and then our and then our zombified hero came out and like uh, and and saved the guy last minute, I think. But uh yeah. Um, yeah, it's a cool idea. And and even though it was done super, super cheap, it still plays pretty well. And even with like all the ADR stuff that was done to it, like um, I still like it. It's a pretty good flick. Yeah, the, the only the only real complaint that I have about it was the was the 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 uh, the, the lack of practical effects. I, I did the whole the whole blood thing that looked like an eight bit video game, you know. <laughs> I, love that. I mean, but you know, I mean, hey, you know, I mean, Wesley I did. A, I mean, for what he had, he did a good job. You know, hopefully, yeah. he, hopefully he'll hopefully he'll he'll continue to learn and grow. And he sounds like he's really taking it seriously. I think he yeah. just bought like a four thousand dollar camera. So oh wow, so, yeah, he, he, yeah. I was gonna say so he's. Really, I'm glad to see that he's taking it seriously. I'm glad you know not just you know settling for the lowest common denominator like some guys do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that is really awesome. Uh, yeah, like I, I even thought like the simulated gunfire and stuff was pretty good. So I mean, because clearly you guys were like walking around with toys and stuff. Or like, or, or just unloaded actual firearms. That, yeah, yeah, we we we, we uh, didn't want to have actual fire. Yeah, there's, I, I, did, I mean, even, even blanks. I, I, we weren't really, you know, we, we, it was pretty much all, all done in post. Yeah, safety first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and of course, uh, you're really heavy in organizing like local events where you're at. I know. Well, yeah, I mean, of course, the big one coming up is Carolina Fear Fest in, in, in Raleigh. That's that, that's that, that that's always a good time. Always a great, always going to be, always always a good show. We just signed our. I can't tell who it is yet, but we we just signed our biggest guest like yet. I mean, it's it's, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be really. It's going to be really nice. awesome. So. Is this your fifth year? Fifth year. Yeah, it's nice. hard to believe. That is hard to believe. Hard to believe. Yeah. Like, so I think I went like two years ago. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and it was, yeah, still, was a good. That was, two years ago was a good year. Last year was good too, but I mean, but, but yeah, two years ago we had a good. It was a really good, really solid list with Danielle Harris and Tom Zavini, and we had, we had some pretty good people that year. Yeah, 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 yeah. When I went, I think, um, oh geez, well, Felissa was there. Uh, well, Dave, uh, yeah, Dave Sheridan, I think, Dave was there Sheridan. that year. Yeah, yeah, yeah and we had um, oh, Clint Howard. Clint Howard was cool. I liked him a lot. He was. He, he was, was really awesome. cool. I got to talk to him for a minute. Uh, we mm -hmm. talked about the movie Ticks. That was awesome. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, Savini was there that time, and uh, Steve Williams. Steve Williams was there. He was yeah, there. Stephen Williams. Yes, he, he yeah, was a good riot. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, like I wasn't even sure I was going to go over to see him. Then he just stood up all at once. He's like, "Hey, free beer, everybody, free beer!" So <laughs> I was like, "Well, I got to go over now. I got to go over now." <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, that's cool. And um, um, I think. Uh, uh, not not to go too deep in the weeds, but I think uh, at the same time there was like uh, some sort of reptile convention happening in the building. Yeah, the yeah, the, the, in the building next to us. Yeah, the, <laughs> I don't know if they did that last year or not, but they but the, the first few years we had that. I remember. Yeah, the the, the reptile convention. <laughs> That's pretty funny. There was not reptiles last year. They had something going on with birds. Birds. Yeah, maybe oh. maybe it was a bird convention this time. Yeah. So. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, yeah. Like, there, there were a couple of times it was reptiles, I remember. Yeah, yeah. I distinctly remember that because um like uh I ran into a guy who called himself Limey. Um and uh and he had an English accent and he was he is one goofy guy. Yeah, I think I think I've met him actually, Limey. I think I think I remember him actually. He's he's not a guy you you soon forget, that's for sure. <laughs> no, no, no. And uh and you're like, what kind of reptiles do you work with? <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's really neat so anyhow um so you're connected to these fine folks here um unfortunately oh i'm sorry what yeah, i'm, I'm sorry yeah hi guys how's it going is it, is it... Damn, what did you get yourself into oh i know gosh. right I, I mean i gotta learn how to say no once in a while <laughs> yeah. that's, a <laughs> that's right so like uh the ones that come to mind right away of course are uh head on the writer's block which is a project of yours and uh and you got uh Miss Shannon in that. 
Yeah, Shannon's in that. It was, she, she, that was that was gonna say that was, that was a good role for her. And uh, of course, her movie, this is about the Sibyl Six. That's got that's been coming along. I mean, that's that 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 that's a big one. <laughs> that's that's going to be a yeah. big one. I mean, a that's, a lot, that's a lot. That's a lot. That was a that's a lot. That's a big undertaking for her first project. But she's been doing a good job, so that's cool. And of course, uh, the Legend of Crick photo, which we're all really looking forward to next week. And we're all looking forward to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's going to be a fun one, man. That's oh. going to be a lot of fun. That's going to be a lot of yeah. fun indeed. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, Mike and I are looking forward to it too. Uh, yes. We uh, bought, bought the tickets. We're gonna come over for that. You know, um, probably we got our hotel early. room. Yeah, Mike wants to check out the comic book shop, maybe the gun <clears> store <throat> before we go in there. there so we'll, we'll, uh, nice. yeah, 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 yes, yeah. Servant Cow's a good shop. He's got a lot of good old stuff in there. You'll like Shane. He's a good guy. That's cool. That's cool. I and, I told Clint. I said. Because I'm a comic guy and I'm a gun guy. He's like, there's a comic store across the street and a gun store next door. Like, yeah, it was a gun store like, like, like a half a mile. Yeah, yeah Wade's World truly got it all. They <laughs> truly, truly got yeah. it all. <laughs> it's got all the important stuff anyway. Yeah, it's good. I mean, I mean it's, 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 why, why, why go anywhere else, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, the uh, the the diner across the street, the the crispy biscuit. They're doing a like a crick dog oh. special. Yeah, yeah really that's, that's, that place has got really good food too. We, we, we got really good. That place is amazing. Yeah, yeah I just amazing I cold food. I I cold so called good. them or just like reached out cold after we got the theater, and I was like, hey, you don't know me, but I know Matt, and I'm doing something at the theater, and it has to do with hot dogs. Like, you want to make a hot dog thing? They're like, yeah, 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 totally, absolutely. That's so, nice. Just, yeah, That's just kind awesome. of. I pitched. Yeah, it, they're um, really cool, really cool people in there. Yeah, yeah, we we shot blood and we shot a scene for blood and breakfast in there too. Actually, it, oh it, nice, yeah, That's awesome. That Mark 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 Burns' new movie, actually, yeah, Mark Burns. Yeah, I've been seeing that all over the place. You you've got a pretty big cast for that. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it all it all fell into. I mean, yeah, Shannon's in that one too, actually. But yeah, I got like Nancy and Ritter and Beatrice, Beatrice Balfley. We got uh, Jim Crud. I mean, it's gonna be a good, it's gonna be a really good, really good, uh, really good movie. I think that is. That is super cool. Yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of repeat offenders in there. That's cool. <laughs> well, we got. I mean, somebody's got to be stupid enough to do this. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> yeah, yeah. For what it pays, right? <laughs> yeah. What What is this pay you speak of? What What is right? Huh? So many. We'll, we'll so pay many, you in so many exposure bucks. Yeah, yeah that exposure box and the uh, and then the pe and the pizza. <laughs> the pizza. Yeah. Can I pay you in merch? Yeah, merch and pizza. <laughs> oh, Speaking of merch, uh, Mike made a T-shirt. I don't know if it was in honor for this event, but I I loaded it in here so I could show you. <laughs> oh wow! Oh, very nice. I so, like that. That's cool. Yeah. Great, man. That's, that's really what, cool. And that's in Mike's uh, T Public store, so we put it out on the page there. Maybe people. Oh, grab sweet! It. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's a really simple way to like do shirts and stuff. If uh, if you're not looking to like dish out a bunch of money to make shirts, people can order them, and they kind of make them made to order. You don't make much on them, you know, but um, but it's still but cool. That it's better out there. than being left over a bunch. It's better yeah. than having yeah. like sitting around. Yeah, trust me. I, I remember from back being the band days, man. Like, I mean, you. would Easier sometimes just have them once in a while, you know. Yeah, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Instead of sitting on five hundred dollars worth of shirts, worth of shirts. <laughs> it's sitting in a box collecting if I, dust. If I sell ten <laughs> shirts, I think I make like two fifty, like three dollars if I'm lucky. Nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not about making money on T Public. It's about getting your product out. Yep. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's more of them again. It's like your exposure box. <laughs> your exposure box. <laughs> I mean, right. I'm not. I'm not putting any money for shirts or. You know, people, yeah, exactly. It's not like you got to pay like 200, 250, 300 up front, like a lot of these places are, yeah, and then you're stuck with a box of shirts that you know, if the band breaks up or whatever, nobody wants, <laughs> right. yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And you sell out of all the sizes that everybody wants, all you're left is small and triple yeah, X, small, you know? right? <laughs> and they turn into shop rags, <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Oh man, those are amazing. the best shop rags. <laughs> yeah, uh, they can be. They can be. You know what? Actually, uh, it's funny that you mentioned that because I've, uh, I have a friend, uh, or uh, the the band Riverside Odds. Matt, you know who I'm talking about. Riverside. Oh Odds. yeah, yeah. They're they're coming to the Punk in the Panhandle Fest. I, I do know yeah. them. Yeah. So, I don't know if they still do it, but a couple years ago, when I got hooked up with them, because they're from around here, and we just all run in the same circles. Uh, I I he uh, uh, Ralph, the the singer and guitarist, and he and I have. A similar outlook on like merch like what to sell and i always 
I always say make it functional, like make a pizza cutter or make something to use in the kitchen. <laughs> well, they actually ended up making uh, Riverside uh, uh, shop rags. I was like, that's it's genius, man. It's like low cost. They bought their own. They brought their own printer, and they're just like cranking out custom rags. I'm like, this is great. Everybody uses a rag, whether it's in the kitchen, you know, out in your exactly. Garage. Yeah, I mean, I mean, clean your Anywhere. house with it. You can clean your house with it, whatever. Yeah, you know yeah. I, I thought it was so great. I'm like, it's a, it's a shop rag. You just put it in your pocket, and you always have. I just thought it was genius. I'm like, that's so great. <laughs> so on. Nice. So where I, what I was going to say was uh, Matt was supposed to be here, but he wasn't able to attend, but I can't say that now. <laughs> yeah, that's um, awesome. Just showed well, up. Well, well, yeah, I mean, there's no, there's nobody here. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I don't know if you guys know, I, I manage a gas station. I mean, I, I manage it. This is my day job. So yeah, this this is going to my dad. Sh Shannon's been here before. <laughs> She's been here a few times. Before. <laughs> yeah, because we, we'll, we'll, we'll like have to be, because again, it's, it's very, it's very low, uh, there, there's not a whole lot going on here because most of the business is back at the truck stop. So, yeah, because there's like a truck stop like behind us or whatever. So this is kind of where people go to get the regular. Like business meeting central. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh central. yeah. Every, everybody knows. Everybody knows this place. People are gonna <laughs> laugh when they see this probably because they because most of the film crew like knows like I mean they've all been here like uh, I mean Shannon's been here like Chris Ridings has been here like I mean uh, the, the, when they were shooting heavy duty man they would come out here all, all, all the time because we always have like this big no we don't have it anymore we used to have a big bin of like discount snacks and everybody used to buy snacks out here. <laughs> So yeah, um, I'm happy you were able to pop on. I was like, even yeah. I was too. logging on just now. I'm like, oh, this sucks so bad. We're not gonna be able to make it. <laughs> it blows because that was, you know, I, I really, Matt, I really, Shannon, and I really wanted you here, even, even if you have to bounce off. I, I, I mean, I'll say this about, uh, you know, going into this whole indie experience. I'm just gonna come out and say it. Uh, I, I've struggled since I started doing this stuff to figure out what a uh, like what the what the title of producer means what is a producer i have no idea i couldn't figure it out but i think uh when matt started to get involved in the legend of crookfoot like i i finally figured out what the role of a producer is i mean he gave me so many tools to build this house of crookfoot with uh he just like time and time again he would provide leads or people or ideas or concepts and just kind of drive me and push me to be able to to steer this ship it you know with my vision but he was able to provide uh you know the tools to do so so i just wanted to come out and say that about matt burns that if you're looking for a project uh you're you're going to want to get him involved because he's going to really push you to, to to do your best absolutely well thanks guys i really appreciate that yeah. yeah no it's just i mean again you just you know you just gotta you just gotta want to do it that's all there is to it i mean a lot of people that's the problem with a lot of this stuff you know some people like they either get involved and they they either realize how much work it is or they, or they don't want to do the work it's like yeah. you know, there's a lot there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of problems you know there's a lot of sometimes people are kind of problematic with it because you know because they realize oh shit i actually have to do this i actually have to work yeah it. <laughs> yeah know, it's not yeah. it's not easy people think it's easy it's not easy you know what i mean like, yeah, that there were times that I was in the middle of putting Crickfoot together. I'm like, what the hell did I? What the hell? Why did I open my mouth about this? <laughs> <laughs> but now, but now it's worth it. Is it not worth it now? Is it, yeah, is it yeah, not, it's, it's not yeah, worth it's totally it. Worth, I mean, I was only going to do a 20 minute, you know, 20 minute short, and you know, Matt and I got in touch. He's like, no, nah, just just go, just go all in, go for like the full Monty on this one. Mm -hmm. So I did, and that, like there was one time a couple months ago, I'm in the middle of editing, and I just I shut my computer and just walked away put my hands up in the air i'm like i i can't do this like why why the heck did i agree to do this wait i agreed to myself to do this <laughs> i was gonna say it's your pro don't put this on me motherfucker. it's your project i'm, I'm like, like put this on me motherfucker. i'm like wait i i'm the one that agreed to do this damn it. yeah it's, it's, it's your <laughs> fucking project not mine don't yeah. feel bad i've had many a times that i've had to be like you know what i need five minutes yeah. like and that's literally on set oh yeah man like, this yeah, shit will no, it'll drive you to the brink, no question. It'll it'll, yeah. it'll drive you to it'll drive yeah. you to and crazy. I had every, you know, and I had a lot of stuff lined up. Like I have my spreadsheets, I have my notes, I have the concepts in my head of what I want to do. And there I just there sometimes I really hit some roadblocks in the uh the putting putting the puzzle together because it was all done remotely. People were sending me in footage based on a concept, a lot of improv. <clears throat> so I had to, you know, chop and reduce and, you know, switch things around how I saw fit. But, you know, I, it was, I don't know, it was a fun project. It was nice to kind of shotgun blast the idea out all over the 
place and see what people came up with. So I was I was happy I was able to do that because I'm a big fan of, you know, like the uh, Eugene Levy, and Christopher Guest movies. It's Final Tap and all that stuff. So I'm Mo- a huge... mockumentaries, if you will. Yeah, mock. Oh, yeah. That like I'm a huge Reno 911 fan. I was just binging yeah. that the other day. <laughs> so I love all I love all that. And I love improv and I, I like Matt said, I love the mockumentary genre. So I just I just went in for it. I'm like, you know what? This is gonna be ridiculous. Uh so yeah, let's do this. I just got I didn't wanna I didn't wanna do uh like a straight up slasher thing or you know, blood everywhere. I, I've seen that all over the place. It just wasn't my you know, it it wasn't in the cards right now. This this was. But I think uh Crickfoot's going to be memorable, nonetheless. Well, that's what we're hoping for. Yeah, um, you had uh, uh, you had offered uh, um, a screener uh, before we did this talk, but I was like, I was like, you know what? I, I'd be too tempted to, uh, to to spoil anything about it during this conversation, and then then I would I would ruin all the surprises for for when I show up to to watch it yeah. in the theater. So uh, I, 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 I'm I'm glad I said no, but. <laughs> Yeah, just uh, some, some of these, some of the footage just had me falling out of my chair laughing. Like I, I thought, I don't care if anybody else doesn't find it hilarious. Like I found it, I found a lot of the stuff hilarious. Yeah. There's definitely uh, some really funny parts on it for sure. I mean, there's, oh I mean, I mean like uh, anything like this, it's 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 up, it's a little up and down. But I mean, but you know, whenever yeah. you, I mean, whenever you do a compilation project, it's always like that. You know, what I mean, it's a, I mean, you're gonna have yeah. your ups, your downs, etc. But I mean, yeah, 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 I just had to make, and I, I was telling, I think I, I was mentioned in the. Matt, I mean, over the course of time, there were times where I would just sit and watch and watch and watch and watch the same things over and over again in the editing yeah. process. And I just some sometimes I would just uh, be watching and, you know, if I felt like it was a good time or like the momentum was making it making it good to cut, that's where I cut it. Like I didn't really I wasn't trying to second guess myself. I was going, all right, is it, is it making me feel good? Are we getting over the hump of the storyline in this person sequence? Bam, done. On to the next one. So yeah. I tried to put in as much movement as I could. Right, right. Yeah, and uh, my name tonight is uh, Clint Ricketts. Uh, I did find out that my, my second cousin, Randy Ricketts, makes an appearance um, in this. Um, and, and I was wondering, uh, Matt, if you could tell me anything about his character, that's not too revealing about him. Well, you, you pretty much see most of him in the trailer. He, he doesn't show up for very long, does he, Bone? He's, he's, he's like Crickfoot. He's pretty elusive. He, he doesn't really say a whole lot. Um, no. except for, you know, except for that he's not, not too happy with Crickfoot. Not, not at all. No. And, you know, cause I mean, not, not very, you know, I was gonna say, you know, not, not very happy with Crickfoot, but I mean, but yeah, that's, it's an actually funny story. Uh, one of the other characters, I'm not going to mention who. But one of the other characters in the movie actually references Randy Ricketts actually in in the in the story. Oh was, yeah, that was great. I, he I, was, I yeah, I was gonna say the fact the fact that he did that was was really <laughs> he's, you know, he's a good friend of mine in real life. So it's like so it's like a lot of it's fun to see that he. I guess he must have seen seen me in the trailer or whatever, and, and actually name dropped and everything. So it was pretty fun. That was pretty that was pretty good of him to do that. That's but yeah, no, I, I'm not really in a whole lot of it. I mean, I'm not. Really, I, I, again, I was kind of working more like behind the scenes and whatnot. I mean, which is kind yeah, of more what I like to do. It. Yeah. More what I like to do anyway. I, I mean, you know, I, I mean, I, I mean, I'm okay as an actor, I guess, but I mean, but I, but I mean, but I, I mean, I'm, I'm a lot better at the production side of it, I think. Well, yeah. yeah, you were yeah. great. You shot so many people my way, and uh, everyone was happy to jump on board. It was almost overwhelming in the beginning because I just thought it was a stupid idea. I'm like, yeah, let's see what happens. And then yeah. everybody was getting on board, and you know, really, really digging this, uh, this character, and the the whole hot dog thing was so funny. I think it it came it came up in a, a, a text message thread between Matt and I. And I, Matt, I I think you said something like, "Is he is he just like a Bigfoot that walks around, or does he does he like do anything? Does he have any like special traits? Something along those lines." And I think I was like eating a hot dog or making a hot dog, and I'm like, "Ah, uh, oh, he steals hot dogs," and I'm fighting it. <laughs> that was just like. It was totally off the cuff because the town I live in, Hatfield, they're known for their hot dog brand. So yeah. I was eating hot dogs. I live in Hatfield. They make hot dogs. I'm like, oh, yeah, he steals people's hot dogs. Yeah. And yeah. Then that just that just opened the floodgates. To, yep. You know, people ah, I'm familiar with Hatfield hot dogs. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm a fan of uh, all beef hot dogs myself. What's your favorite? Yeah, all beef for sure. Yep. All, right. all beef. Same. Yeah. So. How would you rate hot dogs 
uh, compared to Scrapple. Oh man, that's up there. Oh, I hate Scrapple. <laughs> uh, <laughs> really? I, I cannot be Scrapple, you. man. Not, I mean, I, 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 I mean, I'm from West Virginia. I, I, I like a lot of you know, I like a lot of country food. Don't get me wrong, but never yeah. could get into Scrapple. <laughs> I mean, really? I, my whole family likes it. I do love not. It. I, I love oh, it. So I can't much. even see smell. I love it so much. We have a. I think that's a, part of my problem too, Shan. I, 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 the smell kind of gets to me. I, just, I love the smell. Like sauerkraut. I can't eat sauerkraut because of the smell too. I, 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 yeah. There's a, there's a, a butcher around here, maybe like twenty minutes away from here, that uh, they seasonally make their own scrapple. Okay. And it's only available certain times of the year, and people like, load up on it and put it in their freezer. Yeah. Um, I'm one of them that you know buys it in in bulk okay. from them. And I'll put it in my freezer so I can enjoy it on the off season. But I, as far as like hot dogs versus Scrapple goes, uh, uh, I don't know. I mean, hot it dogs, shouldn't even be a thing. Well, I, <laughs> hot, I hot agree. Dogs, Nothing <laughs> compared to Scrapple. I think hot dogs you can get every day. Scrapple is like an occasion. You know, if yeah. you're eating Scrapple, you really want to sit down and enjoy it. I found out that apple butter tastes really good on top of it years ago. Oh, so I'll really? Fry, I'll fry it my. Fry up my scrapple in my cast iron pan, put some apple butter on it, and enjoy it with my uh, eggs. <laughs> you do, you do make some really good looking food, Bo, and I'll give you that. Yeah, have you ever oh, seen yeah, this? I, like I, on his I, Facebook page, man, he has all kinds of good food. It looks like on there. Every day, I'm cooking every day. Yeah, every day, only, my, ca my cast iron pans, man. I'm telling you, they're the they're the they're the ones to do, they're the ones to do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I only I only bring up Scrapple because uh, Mike makes fun of me for it. He thinks you know, I'm a <laughs> Pennsylvania hillbilly because I like it. <laughs> I love Scrapple. He tried to get me to eat it in the Poconos. I was like, I'm not eating Delicious. that. <laughs> <laughs> they got some weird shit in Pennsylvania. So, What's that so, other so, thing? So Mike, <laughs> Mike you're, you're a Jersey guy, right? You you, you do no, like the, 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 the Taylor ham or the pork roll? Is that no, your I don't stuff? Even, even that's out there. I'm from New York. I live in Brooklyn. You're from New York. I'm sorry. I thought you were before, I eat freaking, you know, chicken palm. I'm, I'm oh, okay. So your cheese steaks and yeah, I was gonna say. But what we were at, we went to the Mahoney Drive-in, and what was on the menu? Yeah, was like yeah. Dried chip beef. I was like, what? The oh yeah, chip dried that? beef, man. No, I make that Why? from scratch. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, see, I'm not. I like sausage gravy on my biscuits. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not chip yeah. beef. Man. I like. I like. I'll sausage. do the sausage oh, gravy. Chip not... Yeah, chip chip beef well, and it's uh, shit on a gravy. shingle. That's yeah. right. shit on a shingle. They call it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the scrapple we had in the Poconos that he tried to get me eat was like a pre-packaged in you know, like a block. It was like oh yeah, it was gross before it was even open. I was like. <laughs> It's all, it oh, yeah, that's like the block. shit you buy. Like the that's like the shit you buy at Save a Lot, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there's no way to describe it to where anybody's like, "Yeah, I want to eat that." It's like, <laughs> I've it's funny. You I'm have I, I to try it. I cook a lot, so I'm in some uh, some food Facebook groups online, uh -huh. and one of them is a is a like a Pennsylvania Dutch uh, Facebook group, Pennsylvania Dutch cooking specifically. So, you know, it's all like Pennsylvania based. And I got into an argument, an argument, mind you, online about, uh, you know, like the proper way to, to cook Scrapple. Do you have to put some flour on each side or you just put some bacon grease in the cast iron? Do you, do you broil it? It's, it turned into this like whole whole thing. And I, just, I had to leave. I'm like, I'm sitting here at like five <laughs> o'clock on a Wednesday arguing about how to prepare Scrapple. I just had to bail. I had to bail out. I'm like, this is not my life <laughs> just... right now. <laughs> this, is, this is what your life is about, right? <laughs> just, the best just, way to prepare it is just take the lid off the garbage and throw it in. <laughs> <laughs> and and the thing is, when we went to the Poconos, I cooked. I made these guys chicken cacciatore. Yeah. I was like, what do I get repaid with? This friggin' block of blasphemy. Some of us will just leave and leave you and Clint alone with your scrapple. <laughs> yeah, you guys, you guys will be eating fucking scrapple, everyone. Fine. That's what I'm totally fine with. They have at the, the Royal Farms gas station up the street, they have a they make a scrapple breakfast sandwich. It's great. That sounds nasty. Scrapple from a gas station. That, that's yeah. one of the oh, worst yeah. things I've ever heard in my life. Ro Royal yeah. Farms, to be fair, they got really good fried chicken in there. Right? They got really good fried chicken there, to be yeah, fair. I mean, I, yeah, well, yeah. I'll, I'll uh, when it's when I get it from the butcher in season, I'll make a, a breakfast sandwiches with it with some like runny eggs on a toasted <clears> English muffin. 
can't beat it, man. It's so good. That sounds a great. Why, how do we get on this food topic? That's what I want to talk about. Well, you see uh, what Scrapple does? Now, now, now know. you're making me hungry. Come on, yeah. God, yeah. I still got another hour here. Come on. Yeah. No, I did it on purpose. Um, and, it's like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Movies are great. Let's talk about food. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, I was going to talk about your, your uh, YouTube channel, uh, zombiefuel.net. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I saw I that you do that. have a cooking segment on there, uh, a playlist full of that. Uh, but you also have like um, um, a playlist of shorts. So uh, yeah, I did, I did check out some of those. Um, I I learned um, I learned about horror burgers. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Yeah, I, I learned about boner spiders. Boner spiders. Yep. Boner, I, I that was my that's, that's my favorite one. <laughs> yeah, I, that's I, that's I, the one that could go viral. It really could. <laughs> I love that one so much. And I learned that the monster mall will get the Backstreet yeah. Boys stuck in your head, and yeah. uh, and that 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 <laughs> kind of yeah. makes you an asshole. But <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because it works. Like the moment I heard it, I was like. No, oh no, no, son of a bitch, stop. You know, I forgot I forgot that I put that in there. Oh my god. That was that was filmed in a the mall up the street from my up, up the street from my house. Yeah. Um there's like no like malls are you know a dying thing. Yeah. So I was I was driving past there one day to go somewhere else, and on the way back, I'm like, I could film a short movie in here real fast. And and I don't and I don't think anybody's gonna stop me. So I did. I just I turned. I took my phone out and I just started making stuff up, and uh, I I put it all together and just you know called it Monster Mall. But some just, malls are weird, man. Like they'll 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 stop you from filming in there a lot. Of some of them, it's it's really oh, strange. Yeah, like, yeah no, nobody touched me. I just I figured I would give it a go, and if they told me to leave, I would leave. But I I got as much footage all you know filmed uh, before I just left. I'm like, really, nobody? Oh, all right, whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so, you got lucky. Uh, yeah, that, that's how that came about. That was just, uh, um, yeah. that's, I mean, that's how all of the little shorts started. I was, I started the the website, the blog, really at first, zombiefuel.net, mm -hmm. and I just I started doing uh, just watching one horror movie a week. So I wanted a need, I wanted a hobby where that could also be constructive, and that I could yeah. produce something, and you know, practice a skill of writing and, and all that stuff. So I started to to just watch movies and, and talk about them. And then one day something clicked. I'm like, wait a minute, I could do this. So I, I'm not really a good like script writer, I guess, per se. That's like, if you can write a script, good for you, because I, I don't know if I have that kind of patience um, and, and talent. So I just figured I would improv stuff, just get a concept in my head real fast and just start talking and take the best of the best and put it together and make some some little funny movies and that, that's how that started i was like you know i'm just gonna start a youtube channel uh just for myself and if anybody else thinks it's funny that's great if mm -hmm. not i it, it really doesn't bother me because i'm just i'm doing it for myself this time around I, I wanted a hobby where i could do it for myself and whoever found it funny would uh gravitate towards me and those are the people i want to stick with just like you know everybody on this podcast yeah. and i i started doing those and just like posting them all over the place and I, that just led to the whole Crickfoot idea. And uh, I put that out in the universe. And that's when Mac got a hold of it and really, you know, pushed it to be, to, 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 to make me do my best and really just follow through with it and make it a feature. But yeah, all the, all the little, little shorts were a nice little build to, to, to this feature of, of Crickfoot. And it's been so fun. I'm just, I'm so fortunate that, that people find humor in it because to me it's <clears throat> i'm just finding humor in everyday situations like yeah. the one i couldn't get out of a, a wawa gas station parking lot so i died in a car accident you know <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's but that's everyday life around here like nobody can get in or out of a wawa parking lot because everybody drives yeah. like a maniac or if there's yeah. no wawa sheets <laughs> sheets is the other one their parking lots are terrible i swear yeah. everyone i've ever been in they, yeah, it's, it's, it's just they're out for blood <laughs> <laughs> Finding the humor in a in the in the little in the little things in life. I just keep a mm -hmm. a little running tab of uh, all the little ideas that pop up uh, mm -hmm. pop up into my head. So uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's all yeah. I'm doing now. Just having fun. Yeah. 
yeah, I wanted to touch on it. You know, I, I, I enjoyed that. And, and I uh, was just interested in, in the, the whole brand of it itself, because it seemed, um, it almost seemed like it was part of something bigger. Like, is that something that you intend, like maybe later on have like an online publication or an actual yeah. net network attached to this? I, uh, I think for, for right now, I'm just, I'm cool with doing articles. Uh, I mean, I have like, I've been, uh, like work, workshopping some events in my head, maybe for next year to kind of build it uh, more as a, uh, I guess like, you know, like film production and events and online media and something like that. Uh, more of kind of like a catch all. I don't think it would be like a network or anything, but the, uh, like the name, I mean, the name itself, uh, it's kind of, I guess, indicative. Is that the word? Yeah. Indicative of what I want to be, to, what, what I want the whole brand to be is, filled with like-minded people and what the zombies eat zombies eat people we're all people so we're all zombie fuel essentially mm -hmm. so that's kind of where the name came from it's like i want people around me i want spooky people around me uh yes. you know we're people zombies eat people we're all zombie fuel <clears throat> so essentially yeah. it's i i just want people around me mm -hmm. having fun that's the way i entered crickfoot um, I didn't want to, you know, do the clout chasing thing. I'm not trying to be really anything. I, I'm just trying to have fun. Uh, and if yeah. it turns into something, you, that's great. Because I'm. You mean just... you mean you're not trying to charge 15 grand for a lead role <laughs> or some of these filmmakers? I mean, come on, man. What are you, what are you doing with your life? Look, that's, that's not that's, that's not the flex that you think it is, Matt. No, it's no, it's not. That's not that. Why oh, you flexing, okay. bro? <laughs> <laughs> we were oh, just talking about this today. <laughs> I, I know. Yeah. That's why I brought it up, Shannon. I was like, I, I feel yeah. Like <laughs> yeah, there, there's uh, this independent film team that's like literally. Uh, I, I mean, she sent it to me. I'll send it to you guys. They're literally charging. They, they're trying to. They're they're little, basically it's pay to play and whatever. It's your money. You do what you want with it. I don't. I mean, yeah. I don't care one way or the other. I mean, yeah. you want to spend your money, you know, being in a movie, spend your money on drugs, spend your money on whatever. It's it's it's, it's your money. You do what you want with it. But they are yeah. literally the, the lead role in this film. It, they're literally charging fifteen thousand dollars. Nice, That's crazy. Yeah, I got tagged in it today, and then it was sent to me, and I was oh, just like, man. "What?" So then, of course, <laughs> yeah. I sent it to Matt. First of like, all, who has fifteen thousand dollars to be in a movie? <laughs> yeah, if you have fifteen grand, make your own. Make your own damn movie. Yeah, really. <laughs> well, the thing is, is that one of the um, directors and stuff reached out to me last week, and they were like, "We really want oh. you to be in this film," and I'm like looking at it and stuff, and they're like. What perk do you want? And I was like, hmm? Uh, I was like, so you want me to pay for a mm -hmm. role in your film? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, apparently these people have like a reputation of being like this. Apparently, I mean, I, I'm not going to say their names, obviously. I mean, I mean, yeah, I'm not going to say their names. But I mean, but yeah, they apparently have a reputation of, of, of being like kind of shady like this. Yeah, that... I mean, in, in a way, that reminds me a little bit of that that horror competition that's been going on in the past. Oh, with the years. faces of horror, whatever the yeah. fuck it is. Yeah, yeah. pay to play. Yeah, pay to scam. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like yeah. a pyramid scams scheme. of horror. Yeah, the scam yeah. of horror. Oh, it is. The faces of yeah. horror. Um, ink the magazine. Tattoo girl, girl, the tattoo, tattoo girl, girl or whatever. Yeah, it. it's, it's all of yeah. it. Yeah. But it's it's a nice little scam. I mean, like, oh, oh yeah, buy votes, get all your friends to to vote for you and pay for votes, and whoever gets the most votes, you know, gets this gets this walk on roll and gets like this uh, x amount of dollars, and they get to do a photo shoot with uh, Kane Hodder. And I'm like, I'm like, yeah, all right, all money. right, yeah, exactly. But somebody made out on that, and they probably yeah. went and made a movie with the money. I don't know. They did something with it. <laughs> they did yeah. something with it. Kane gets uh, gets wrapped up in a lot of that shit sometimes. Yeah, um, Shannon, I want to lean into you for a couple of minutes. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. The um, um, so you don't like Scrabble? Um, <laughs> and, uh, are you from Maryland? Are you more of a crab cake person? I love crab cakes. Okay. <laughs> crab legs, crab cakes. Yeah. Yeah. How do you feel about hot dogs? You like those? All beef. Okay. Yes. Yes. We 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 covered this. We covered we, we, we we all agree on something. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Have you ever had a dirty water dog? A what? No. I don't think I want to know in, what that is. In New York. In New York, especially in Manhattan, the little carts that are on every corner, all the hot oh, yeah. dogs are sitting in the in the hot. Oh, the water. Yeah, I got you. Oh, yeah, I love they call, okay. That's what they call them, dirty water dogs. I love it. They're the best. Yeah, I had one one time. <laughs> 
when I drove a bus to New York City. <laughs> uh, anyhow, so um, you are in a segment of Head of the Writer's Block. You play a character named Brooke um, in a segment called Just a Night in the Woods. Mm -hmm. um, did I also catch that uh, Jim Crutt and Russell Sage Patrick, are they in that same bit? Yep. Okay, that's cool. Because I, I was kind of following the... Us. Yeah. And Nate Anderson. Nate, Nate Nelson. Anderson. Okay. Nate, okay. sorry. Nelson. Uh, yeah. Nelson. Yeah. And this is an anthology type movie. So this is just one of the segments in the whole thing? Yes. That's, yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's, a, it's, it's an anthology about a guy who has writer's block and he's trying to come up with stories and this girl's kind of helping him. And yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, I, and I know that that's uh, that's probably not out yet. So I don't want to press you to say anything. No, we're, we're doing it. We're doing our. We're doing the end of the begin. We're doing the end of the beginning montage next week after Crickfoot, and then we have one more story to shoot, which we're probably going to do at the beginning of April. Then it'll all be done. Then it'll just be in post, basically. So hopefully by the end of this year, early next year, it'll be out. Okay. Are you doing any like crowd crowdfunder stuff for like uh, doing post production stuff? We we that? did like I I did some stuff like I, I don't like doing Indiegogo because they they screwed me out of KOA so I, I really I so basically I I just like asking people hey you want to help out with this you know fifty dollars get you this hundred you know, I mean that kind of thing or whatever so I mean so so yeah I haven't posted that about any of that in a while but I might now that we're getting closer to the end of finishing it. Okay, that sounds good. And what are your, kind of your plans for after that? Are you gonna just like is it gonna stream anywhere? Or are you gonna? Well, we we got a couple of we got a couple offers for streaming. Hopefully, I mean, I mean, hopefully it'll 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 probably wind up on the usual suspects, you know, to be Plex, like that, that, those places. So, and we're gonna also gonna make DVDs of it because I like I like physical media. <laughs> I, I don't want I don't want physical media to die. <laughs> so yeah, that's but so. You definitely yeah. have to do DVDs of Head on the Writer's Block. Yeah, yeah, we suppose, yeah, we definitely will. We definitely will do that. And like I said, yeah, it's going to be. Uh, and like I said, yeah, it'll probably wind up like I said on Tubi Plex, you know, Fear Flicks, you know, a lot of the usual suspect type places. So, uh, so yeah, it, 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 it definitely got some plans for it. Uh, hopefully, hopefully it does well. I mean, it's 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 pretty cool because it's. The, I really wanted to bring everybody together for this project. You know, I mean, like one one was sh like one one short was shot by you know. Owen Young from Bloody Summer Camp. One was shot by Jordan Miller from The Only Ones. One, you know, I mean, I wanted to make, I wanted to showcase a lot of the local talent here. You know, I mean, all the actors are all different in every, every, every short because I wanted to make sure that you know that we, you know, tried we tried to you know get everybody in on this, not not just not not just certain people. So yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, head on the writer's block is like really, I mean, that one's really special to me. That's my first leading role, so right. and it was so yeah. much fun to do, just so much fun. What was your experience like on that? Like, I had um, a blast. Um, I thought it was going to be really overwhelming, but it actually wasn't because like Jim Crutt and Russell, they're just, they're amazing. Just amazing to work with both of them. Such nice guys. And even on like breaks and stuff, cause we shot a lot of it like inside of the truck and we're sitting in there and <laughs> I know they both knew that like I was nervous. Cause like I'm in here with both of these guys and they're so talented and experienced. And then the next thing I know, Jim Crook goes, you know what? I'm glad I wore my Superman underwear today. I died laughing. Like <laughs> I'm losing it. Russell's losing it. <laughs> and they're getting ready to say, all right, let's film again. And I am literally like got tears in my eyes. So yeah. Yeah. It yeah. was fun. It was a Jim really Crud is just, Jim Crud is just a national treasure. I'm, I'm, I really, everybody loves that guy. He's just so great. He's such a, such mm -hmm. a wonderful human being. Yeah. He's a good salesman too. Cause like I saw him at a con and I ended up buying like four DVDs from him. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, one of one of which I think I was like, what it was remnants, wasn't it? One of which was remnants, yeah, actually. Yeah, back here on myself. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say, well, yeah, that was also an APP production. One of one of the first ones yeah. I did. Well, the second one I did with Mark after, after Bigfoot. You know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I should go back and grab those and, and see what all the hell I got from him. But uh, um, you say this was your first acting role, Shannon. Uh, how long you been doing the acting thing? It wasn't my first acting role. It was my first leading role. Uh, that's my what I meant to say. first acting role was zero. Literally was zero. Matt Burns reached out to me and he was like, so do you want to be a zombie next weekend? And I'm like, hell yeah. Like, <laughs> <Something about laughs> I just right. want to be a zombie. 
Yeah. So I did zero. Casting magic, time. everybody. That that that's how you do it. Okay? Yeah, you want to you want to do this? <laughs> yeah. And if they and, <laughs> and if they come back and say, "What's it pay?" You say, "Never mind." <laughs> yeah, exactly. You got it. You got it. Yeah, exactly. exactly. You, 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 exactly. You, <laughs> got other I people to call. That. Nailed it. Yeah, and that's why you got the gig because you didn't ask that. <laughs> I, I never asked that. Matt's like, "Hey, you want to do this? You want to do that?" And I'm like, "Sure, why not? Let's go." Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, awesome. Because it's all about the exposure and the merch. No. <laughs> 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 so, um, but I, I did want to I did want to touch for a little bit on uh, your your film, um, the Sibylla Six. I, I would love to hear about that. You're a director now. Yes. And, uh, and honestly, I think I like it better than acting. Really? Yep. She what, likes what bossing is, people. She likes to boss the people around. I think that's that's. Yeah, that's right. None of y'all listen to me. None of y'all listen to me. No, I don't like bossing nobody. Around. <laughs> yeah, aren't you supposed to have like a megaphone or something like that? To... <laughs> <laughs> that would be so dangerous. I don't. She has, she has the clapper. <laughs> you know, action! <laughs> click. <laughs> yeah. Uh, was the movie your idea? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Me and Matt's together. Like I said. Um, I reached out to him one night. I got a message sent through my messenger from some random weirdo. So I messaged Matt and I said, hear me out. You said you weren't going to tell anybody. Massacre. (laughs) (laughs) And he was like, we can't call it that. He was like, but let's do this. And it just like, literally we put the whole thing together, like in a night. Yeah. Nice concept. Anyway, I was involved that night. Everybody was involved that night. That's awesome. Yeah, see, that's how quickly this guy mobilizes, <clears throat> helps you organize okay. stuff. That's something else. So, uh, can can I take it uh, to be about uh, maybe a killer who sources victims on like a mobile dating app? Yes, um, we've been referenced. It, it is a lot like a modernized uh, Strange Lands, D. Snyder's Strange Lands. Oh, um, okay. So. Um, it's more like a, a true crime, true crime slasher kind of you say, but it it does focus a lot on like the dangers of online dating and social media as a whole. Like there's so much of our information that gets put on social media, and um, I just talked about this last night as well. Like um, you know, I shared a friend's uh, band gig. I just I shared it. I didn't say I was going or anything like that. And somebody literally just took the chance. They were like, I'm going to show up and see if she's there. And yeah, we were there. I didn't say I was going, but my cousin and I went and this weirdo showed up and it was a pretty scary night. That's pretty crazy. So, I mean, so it sounds like this is going to take a, take a off on a, uh, a more serious note, like um, more of, more of a, um, well, as you say, true crime, and a warning to people as to the the dangers of things that they can do. Um, it's a dark film. <laughs> yeah. It's, yes, it it's is. It's a dark film. It's, it, there, there's not much humor in it at all. I'll be. I'll, I mean, yeah. I mean, definitely not much humor to I've, it at all. Yeah. I've added a lot of uh, my personal experiences, and I've had other friends get involved and write down stuff and send me stuff. And it's a lot of people are going to be able to relate to this film. Yeah. Well, sometimes those are the most powerful ones. I mean. Uh, because if you can if you can put out a relatable story, and you can uh, shed light on some some dangers uh, that that people could experience, I mean, it it can almost turn out to be more like a like a PSA. It's like um, people um, uh, all the time, you know, talk about how to how a movie changed their lives. You know what I mean? And it's mm-hmm. like it it has the potential to do that for somebody if if it's gonna. Uh, be uh, as serious and cautionary as you say. I mean, that's that's kind of awesome. I mean, there's more than entertainment value <clears throat> there. Um, I've had to, let's just put it, I've had to walk away. We've shot yeah. two scenes where I literally was just like, I, you know, like I had to walk away while we were yeah. doing it. <clears throat> yeah, just just too much, um, too, too impactful. I got you. Mm-hmm. Maybe realistic. Somebody screaming a little too realistically. Yeah, it's um, like I said, it's it's a dark film. It's yeah. not it's not something we're going to be sitting and laughing through or anything like that. No, no. Um, so did I see uh the same guy on there as a writer as who's on head on the writer's block? Todd Martin. Yep, Todd Martin. Yep. Okay. 
Okay. Well, he must have done a good job if you guys are playing out scenes and impacted while you're filming them. Um, oh, he did. He did a phenomenal job writing it. You know, like absolutely. I submitted a whole bunch of ideas and Matt, like we both got together and like submitted a whole bunch of stuff. And you know, Todd just put it into a 96 page script. And here we go. <laughs> wow. 96 pages. I mean, that's that's a full feature. Yeah. Basically. That's amazing. Yeah. So uh, you, uh, are you fully cast right now? Um, we are and it, in the process of shooting. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we film again, actually, same day as Crickfoot premiere. I thought I heard you saying that. Um, so you're gonna like yep, me and uh, Shonda, me and Shonda yeah. film <clears throat> gonna... that morning. Okay. Okay. Yeah that 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 whole weekend's gonna be filled with fun and and film shooting. Yeah. Well, I, I thought I heard yeah, you say yeah because Sunday, Sunday afterwards we're filming for. Um, Matt in Hagerstown. Writer's block. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Writer's block. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because I thought I saw you like uh, uh, remind uh, one of the one of the other actors. Hey, hey, hey! Don't, don't do too much at the after party. We're filming after that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> so, do you have any long term plans for the movie? I mean, um, or or you're not thinking any further ahead than just getting it made? As of right now, yes. Okay. <laughs> just getting it made, getting filming done. Um, we've got a couple of dates already scheduled for filming. So that's always a good thing. It's a plus because mm -hmm. everybody lives so far away from each other. So trying okay. to get everybody together and trying to film. And then everybody has so many projects going on. Everybody has two or three things going on right now. Yeah. That does sound like a really challenging aspect of this. Because, I mean, yes, you've got passionate people, you know, who want to be a part of the project, but they also have, you know, other they irons have lives. The <laughs> they have, they they have lives. lives. Yeah, they got jobs. They got jobs and lives. And, yeah. 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 And like, uh, but the fact that they're willing to make time for it, you know, and and, and knowing that eventually it's going to work out is, is just really cool. That's, yeah. I, I can't say too much about the, the indie community because uh, they, they really do seem to care about the art itself. No, it's definitely not for the money. Because <laughs> the biggest response what I ever money? heard to that. What yes. is this money you keep talking about? This is right? money. That's the biggest response. What money? <laughs> I'll pay in merch. Don't worry about it. So, so yeah, that, that's great. I mean, I didn't have much else, uh, but I did want to go around again just to, to give you guys uh, a chance to plug anything that you want to plug, you know, uh, websites, social media stuff uh projects you got coming up um uh, mike did you want to add anything before we jumped right into that i'm looking forward to saturday yeah sounds awesome it's, me too it, it, it's gonna be a me lot of fun three. i think I, I i really have to also uh praise the whole uh indie community because you know without uh without all you know everybody <clears throat> on this podcast uh and everybody that, that's associated with you all you know i I, I don't I don't think I could be doing what uh, I'm I'm doing right now and the the good feeling that I've experienced and I was just telling some of the somebody the other day like me doing all this stuff and and uh, Shannon I, I think we've talked about this before that going through all these experiences and putting together this this project and continuing you know to talk and grow it's been so good for my for my mental health uh, honestly. I've experienced so much good and support through this <clears throat> community that I just I want to really drive home that fact that you know that this I'm sure there are you know opposite ends of the coin you know people you might not want to work with in this industry but this group of people I've fallen into has been has done wonders for for my self esteem and you know my growth and all that kind of stuff so. Shannon, I don't know Great. if you feel the same way, but I, I think we've talked about that no, before. Yeah, no, I absolutely feel the same way. Um, there's so much support, so much support in this community of people. Just, mm -hmm. it's just amazing. Everybody tries to support everybody, especially everybody's films and stuff. And um, mm -hmm. like you said, um, my biggest thing is seeing how far everyone has come. Like Agreed. literally seeing how far Agreed. everyone has come in such a short period of time. You know, like look at Shonda. Yeah, she's, oh my lord. You know, she's just amazing. Icon. Like I just, 
And then like I saw the memory thing come up for zero and I'm like, holy crap, that was a year ago. Like a year ago, I'm in an alley as, as a zombie and like I'm directing a film now, you know, like it's, mm -hmm. it's pretty amazing. The that's only awesome. people that are going to stop you on this journey is yourself. I mean, that's only, I mean, yeah. I mean, if you have the drive and the dedication, you can do it. It's that simple. Yeah. Nobody, nobody's saying that you can't, you know, the only, I think we're, you're right, Matt. The only person that's going to stop you is yourself. Bone, what do you want to plug? Uh, social media? What oh, uh, uh, yeah. I mean, everything can be found through my website, www.zombiefuel.net. I've, I've linked my uh, YouTube to there uh you know merch site to there you can look for uh you know dvds and stickers and buttons and all that stuff so really just go to the website zombiefuel.net and you'll find some movie reviews uh some upcoming news and you know if you have an upcoming project that you want to get up on my website just email it to bonejohnson at gmail.com <coughs> Awesome. And of course, on February 24th at the Waynesboro Theater is the premiere of The Legend of Crickfoot. Um, I'm so, so excited. I think it's uh, scheduled from three to six on the 24th at the Waynesboro Theater. Uh, I'm going to try to hit up the Crispy Biscuit. Don't, don't forget to one of one of one is also screening. One oh, yeah, one yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you. One one of one is screening at what three three o'clock? Three o'clock, yeah. That's got the three yeah. o'clock, and then uh Crickfoot will probably be going on about four thirty. Mm -hmm. okay. Matt, can you one. can you talk a little bit about one of one real fast? Well, yeah, I was gonna I was actually gonna, gonna put that okay, in my good, good. in my uh, promotion. So absurdproductionpictures.com. It's you know, it's myself and Mark Byrne. I mean it's mostly Mark. He he he's like the jack of all trades or whatever. But yeah, we're working on a film now called Blood and Breakfast, and uh, the opening film of this is a stoner comedy by the name of One of One. And and has a lot of our friends in it, of course, the usual suspects, you know, Nancy Ann Ritter, uh, Michael McGlynn, Shonda Rawlings, Kay Leahy. They're, they're, I mean, a lot of great people in this movie. It's going to be a lot of fun. I mean, it's, it's, it, like I said, if you, if you like Crickfoot, I mean, it's, I mean, it's a lot, a lot of talk about, you know, like, you know, music and stuff like that. It's, it's, it's going to be a lot of, and, and basically it's all these people going after an item. That, that they're trying to impress this millionaire with, you know, so he, so he's going to pay so that, that, that he w is going to pay like 50 grand for basically. So kind of has that rat race kind of, kind of, kind of feel. Nice. To it. I was going to so say, it sounds like rat race. Yeah, yeah, a little bit like rat race. race. Yeah. A little bit like rat race, but a little different, a little, definitely a little bit different too. So, so right. yeah, it's definitely got some, definitely got some funny parts in it as well. So yeah, absurdproductionpictures.com. Check that out. Uh, check out blood and mm -hmm. breakfast. We're about, about 80% shot on that right now. We got like about two more shoots and we're done with that. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to premiere that in the fall or early next spring. We'll see what happens. And uh, yeah, that's, 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 and head on the writer's block too is also uh, can be found through me. So uh, yeah, thanks again. That's about, that's about all I really got to say. And uh, I got to get going here guys. So I'll see y'all. I'll see y'all later. And thanks Thank for having you so me much for coming. Yeah, yeah. Right, good, good, see you, Matt. Okay. And Shannon finally come around to you. Um, Yay. I think Matt touched on everything that I'm a part of. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, Blood and Breakfast, follow um, any one of our Facebook pages. Um, Absurd Productions is where you can find the majority of the information for it. Um, I have a part in Crickfoot. You can also follow um, Zombie Fuel, and the premiere for that is February 24th. Looking forward yeah. to that. Um, the Sibylla Six, you can follow us on our movie page, The Sibylla Six Movie. And I think that about covers it for right. Oh, head on the writer's block. Head on the writer's block. Absurd, Fantastic. Absurd productions. <laughs> that sounds really good to me. Well, um, I want to thank you guys for coming tonight. Thank um, you. This and, was a lot of fun. And having a chat it with was. us. Yeah. And uh, and I just want to say uh, we're going to be at that premiere. We're really excited to see it and, and to see you guys yeah. in person. And Definitely I'm, looking forward to meeting yeah. you guys in person. I might bring some cash, see if I can pick up a little bit of merch myself, you know, uh, which is, which would be fun. Um, so uh, on behalf of myself, on behalf of Mike, on behalf of uh, cryptids and hot dogs and Scrapple, um, <laughs> I say, remember. Why are you son of a... <laughs>